Hello YouTube, welcome to Foreign's PC's YouTube channel. I'm Matt, and today I'm bringing you guys just an overview all about Singularity Computer's cases. I believe these cases have a ton to offer when you build in them. However, I think they commonly get overlooked just because of their price tag. So, let's see today exactly what makes these guys so special. Just give you a little background, Singularity Computers, if you don't know about them already, they are a homegrown water cooling shop located down in Australia. This is where Daniel Cannon actually does produce a lot of these parts, and he does design them all in-house himself from his 20 or more years of water cooling experience as well as his entire team behind him. So when you do end up with one of their products, such as these cases, you can rest assured that you are getting something that's been tried, tested, and just works amazing. On the left here, we have the SC Wraith, and on the right, we have its bigger brother or sister, whichever way you want to look at it, the SC Spectre. So this one is the 2.0 Spectre, and this is actually the first version of the Wraith. The new versions of these cases are available now. I believe these are harder to come by. However, everything that the new case offers is exactly what this, these are, plus a whole bunch more. So to start, the Wraith is obviously a small form factor chassis. This case will only fit an ITX or a DTX motherboard. I believe you could somehow manage a micro ATX, but it doesn't fit quite right off the bat. You can though fit a full sized graphics card, as well as an entire water cooling loop, which is what really baffles me the most. I've built a lot of small form factor builds, and as soon as you start to put a custom loop in them, almost all of them get to be a pretty tight challenge, to say the least. Without any modifications, you can fit two 240mm radiators in here with fans. It's also running a D5 pump, so you can always be sure that your loop is getting adequate cooling. Beyond that, there is storage space for up to nine at two and a half inch SSDs. Otherwise, you can mount two right out on this faceplate. I personally like to go with M.2s for a lot of my builds. However, this case, although it's small, does not lack capacity. Once you combine all this as a whole package and include that distro plate in the back that puts it all together, you really kind of see that this case is a one of a kind, small four factor water cooling case. As I mentioned in the beginning, both of these cases run a little bit higher on the price side compared to a lot of traditional cases. This one, in fact, if you get the most modern version, is $700. So a lot of you are probably going to look over it purely for that. However, I do urge you guys just to give it a second look purely for what you get out of it. As I stated, all those features that you really won't quite find in other cases, and the fact that this is a well-built, fully aluminum and acrylic chassis, you can count on building on it for years to come. Next up, we have the Spectre. This is the full-size ATX form factor case that Singularity brings to the table. You can pack quite a bit more in this case than the Wraith, but it still maintains a pretty similar form factor to your regular ATX size case that you'd find. As I mentioned, this is the older version of the Spectre. However, even the newer version, you're able to pack two 360 millimeter radiators in there that are up to 60 millimeters thick, plus your fans, which, in my opinion, is super impressive. I've spent numerous hours scouring the web for a case that can off-the-shelf fit that kind of radiator capacity, and those are honestly few and far between. Once again, the D5 is mounted directly to the distro of the case, so you'll never have to worry about not having enough flow throughout this loop. With the Spectre, you got a few options for your GPUs. You can vertically mount them, you can even pack two on there, or you can horizontally mount them as you'd normally see. No matter what, it will fit pretty much the biggest card out there that you can find. Just like the Wraith, this thing is set up with a distro that kind of combines the entire chassis together, and it offers perfect port locations for pretty much any component configuration that you'd want, resulting in nice, clean, short runs. Now the regular Singularity Computer Spectre, which is a 3.0 now, this is the 2, 
will run you about $1,400. And if you haven't noticed, there is a new special edition that Daniel has been releasing now. Currently at San Tumbra, I believe he's going to have some more special editions like that in the future, but you just have to keep your eyes peeled for that. These special editions make it so the power board, which is essentially your entire cables in the back, is all housed in the distro plate. This gives you perfect cable rounding points and really easy ways to hook up everything in your PC. If you don't end up going for the more expensive power board version, you can always get some nice custom cables that'll fit up perfectly inside the distro case. If you couldn't tell from the very beginning, this case supports ATX form factor motherboards, and EATX wouldn't fit up natively, however, you can probably figure out a way to get one in there. Overall, I believe this case really kind of wraps together simple aesthetics, however careful component placement, all in one package, giving you pretty much the best case for water cooling on the market. Now I know a lot of you all 11 people out there don't like to hear that, however, that is also a great water cooling case too, and it works for quite a few people as it fits their price point as well. But if you guys are looking to take a next step up in your game, I would highly recommend checking out either of these cases if you're into water cooling. There's honestly too many features to put them all in one video, so if I miss anything or you want to know more, please ask in the comments below. And please also check out Daniel Cannon's or Singularity Computer's YouTube channel as well as all their social. It'll be linked below. You can find out a bunch more about the Spectre and the Wraith. You can see a bunch of really cool builds Daniel's done. Ourselves, PPCs, if you take a look at some of our build logs, you can see these two builds being featured there. Those are also a great resource if you're planning on building in one of these. Of course, you'll always be able to find your Singularity Computers parts, including these cases, at PPCs. They'll be linked below. As always, if you guys like this stuff, hit that like button and subscribe if you think you might want to see some more. I've had a great time sharing about some of my favorite cases with you guys today, and until next time, happy water cooling!